All right, here we go. We are Be packed back. up and getting ready to head off. And we just wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye to Burbank. We are off. Where are we going, Isabel, tonight? Paso Robles. We're going to be staying in the Wine Country RV Park. We've heard a lot of good stuff about that. And Lorelai, where are we going overall? Everywhere. Everywhere. So, where are we going? Come tell everyone. <laughs> where are we going? Dato. All right, so we're going to Dato. Nine weeks to Dato. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. And Bye. see you in Paso Robles. Where's the dog? Hi, everybody. My name is Samantha. And I'm Chris. And we are the Innes family, most of you know us, and we are setting off on a nine week Western US road trip with our kids in a 25 foot travel trailer. That's, That's behind three us. kids, 13, 12, three, and one Chawini. Why don't we tell everyone real quick, in a brief summary, why we decided to do this? What was your reason? Um, well, I guess for me, it w had to do with, I worked a corporate job for a lot of years and I could barely put together a week of vacation time um, without there being a lot of guilt and, and pressure to get back into the office. And a few years ago, um, I made the also crazy decision to start my own business with a few partners. Who, by the way, I have to thank very much for the opportunity to do this. They've been really picking up the slack and I adore Thanks, team. them. Thanks, team. Yes, exactly. Um, and Chris here is Mr. Adventurer. He's the guy that comes to me saying, I want to take a year and travel the world and let's just quit our jobs and just go and live in Bali for a year. And I mean, just in, insane things constantly. And to be honest, there was a lot of guilt that came from me in that going, I'm holding him back. We're not adventuring as much as we would like to adventure. And those are important things in life. I found that those dreams, those aspirations, those crazy thoughts, they, they need to be fulfilled a little bit. So Chris came to me with um, Trish and Mark from Keep Your Daydream and said, you have to see this, Sam. Like, you have to take a look at these folks. And if you don't know who they are, it's just a, it's a family uh, of five who travels almost, I think, pretty much, well, I think they are full-time yeah, uh, in the RV, which yeah. is, and I was super inspired watching it, and I thought, you know what, maybe it's not something that we do full-time, but it's something that we could do bigger than just a weekend trip, right. uh, you know, to a local state park. Let's do something big. And then I took it probably 10 steps further, and I said, no, we could do this. Like, we could actually do this. Uh, we can put our kids in online school. We'd like to travel other places, too. So not just in the travel trailer, but internationally. Any one of you who knows us knows that we do that with our kids, too. Um, so I said, let's do this. Let's do online school. I can work from anywhere where there's a cell phone reception and Internet. He works anywhere where there's Internet and cell phone. Um, my hours are a little bit more regulated than his, but we can still do it. And our kids are young enough that we should get out on the road. We should do more with them. We have 18 summers with our kids. And if we're lucky and we want to make the most of it. And so I think it was like towards the end of last year, we just decided, okay, we're going to do this. And we kind of set a date, uh, Father's Day weekend. And we've been building up to it. And there was some planning and preparation that went into it for sure, making sure uh, that we had everything we would need on the road yeah. and um, you know preparing the kids for online school for when we come back from the trip and but as far as like day-to-day -day plans there's not no it's not like we planned out all nine weeks no. uh, we made six nights of reservations to start and even like tomorrow night we, we don't, don't have, even know where we're going we don't have reservations tomorrow <laughs> and you know what it's fine though because we found uh, quickly that as soon as you get away from Southern California, yeah. it's not hard to get spots in RV parks, campgrounds. Right. Um, we haven't even had to camp at a Walmart yet. So, yeah. so <laughs> far we're doing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. here's a quick recap of what we've done this week, yes. uh, where the trip started, where we are now, and we'll kind of tell you where we're planning to go during the next week. We started out in Paso Robles and we stayed at the Wine Country RV Resort two thumbs up yeah it was like five stars all around super great park uh the amenities are awesome the scenery is awesome really mm -hmm. nice sights too yeah um, very impressed with that park 
Yeah, we met some amazing people from Santa Clarita. I mean, really set the bar high for the people we're going to yeah. meet on the road. I, I have a feeling these folks are going to be lifelong friends. They were awesome. We absolutely adored them. Our children adored their children. And I think it really set the tone. The kids were it a little did. bit nervous. And I think, yeah, by the kids making friends quickly with them, they were running around the park all night long. Yeah. Uh, having so much fun and I think the kids were like oh you know this trip's gonna be a bummer yeah. blah 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 and having that first weekend making friends run around being wild camping you know like yeah like I did when I was a kid uh, all of a sudden they were like excited about what was to come next so yes that was really awesome yeah and we did the water park there which was right across the street uh from the and by street I mean like dirt road which from was, the RV park was great it's no hurricane harbor no. Or, or something like that but I think it was like 30 bucks uh, maybe to get in and they even offer like half price tickets later in the afternoon uh, but I think all in we spent around 100 bucks for five of us and had three four hours of fun the kids loved it yeah uh, and it was great yeah so then we left there and went to Napa uh, for one night that was just a stopover because one of the things that we quickly learned on our build-up is that about four hours in the car is as long as we can really last to do a stopover we chose napa and we stayed at the skyline wilderness park which again two thumbs up yeah absolutely loved that place what i liked about that one is it was like it felt uh, a little quieter um it wasn't like a party rv park or anything no. like that uh, so it was just had like a quiet atmosphere lots of space to walk around and explore it's like a day use park which a lot of people use mm -hmm. and they have a very limited amount of sites um, and we we're lucky enough to get a site there yeah for the yeah so that was father's day um, we hung out that day i made tri-tip and shrimp we tried to make it a little bit more special that night and we did an evening stroll with the kids fantastic sunset there the, i mean just the surroundings were wonderful here's a quick photo of that sunset right all right, and then from there, we headed into the Redwoods and we stayed at the Grizzly Creek State Park, which was great. It was it was my favorite place, yeah. uh, personally. Um, so this place was very quiet. I think all together, there's maybe 15 or 20 sites there. Day um, use too. Uh, and day, day use, yeah. Uh -huh. And, uh, but we were the biggest rig there. So they don't take trailers over 24 feet, which I didn't know when I made the reservation. And I quickly found out that, you know, well, ours is like 25 feet, 10 inches. And so we called ahead and said like, hey, listen, we're a little over, what should we do? They said, well, if you can get it in the space, you're good. And we just lucked out. We had space number two, which yeah. if you're around 25 feet is perfect because I was able to make an easy three point turn into our space. Had we been in a space further down, There's I don't no, know I don't that know we would have been able to make it in. Yeah. But the location was fantastic, right on a quiet, river there's a little bridge uh the deepest parts maybe five feet and the kids were playing in the river and you could still awesome. see the bottom yeah, like it was five maybe clear. five six feet and it, it was turquoise and you could see all the way to the bottom it was absolutely beautiful and i've then, never seen a river and then like we that. did a couple you know uh i did two trails um and they're easy trails fantastic yeah. great uh scenery the redwoods are unbelievable yes. the yeah. bummer though was <laughs> Uh, we did not have any phone signal when we exited the freeway, which is a bad sign. And then we drove 17 miles back to the Redwoods. <laughs> of course, there was no signal by the time yeah. we got out there. So our big concern was this was uh, during the week. Yeah. And we thought, well, we need Internet to work. This could be a problem. And the nearest place to, to get Internet was like 45 minutes away at a yeah. Starbucks. Not ideal. And it was a bit frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think one of the things we learned there is uh, state parks, uh, especially the remote ones, we're going to try to do on weekends because the scenery is fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's quiet. Yeah. The state parks might not be as quiet on the weekends, but they're still nice. It's, it's very different from like an RV park. Yeah. Uh, but during the week when we have to work uh, and we need that quick internet connection, mm -hmm. we're going to try to stick to RV parks during the week. And that was, you know, just a quick little learning lesson. We've still got eight more weeks, seven and a half more weeks to go here. Yeah. So that's what we're going to try to stick by. Yep. Then we head up the coast to Brookings. Again, the coastline, no signal, pretty unfortunate. However, once we got to Brookings and we were at the Bayside RV park, they had fantastic Wi-Fi um, because Chris had specifically requested a spot closer to the office where the Wi-Fi, um, where signal the started. signal starts. And so we were right there. So I was able to get 
a lot of work done. I had a couple of really heavy work days while I was there um, and got to sit at the dinette looking out over the ocean. We I were mean, right this, on the coastline. Place, it was stunning. You cannot reserve a place like this in Southern California. It's no. one of those things where you have to reserve it six months ahead of time. And with this place, I think we paid, I think it was $50 a night, yeah. pull through, full hookups, literally 10 steps away from the ramp down to the beach. Yeah. And it was oh, so beautiful. Awesome. So we hit the Samuel H. Boardman um, Scenic Corridor. We saw the Secret Beach. I mean, we did a lot of really pretty beach sightseeing while we were there at that time. But while we were also there, I did do my second workout of the trip. The first workout was actually at Grizzly State Park right next to the visitor center. So as people are going into the visitor center, I'm out there doing my workout with my trainer. We were cracking up about it, it was fantastic. But then I did my next one and uh, got to turn around to see Chris taking video of me, which is, I'm sure, spectacular. I, I probably look so, amazing. Yeah, she's doing uh, all of her workouts by <laughs> FaceTime, which is awesome. Yeah. So. so then we did one night in Coos Bay. So that was um, day before yesterday. And we stayed at the Shoreline RV Park, which was... Yeah, they're like... Their absolutely whole thing is like Two thumbs up. like a modern uh, RV park. And it's, I mean, oh. indoor heated pool, yeah. gym, kids' playroom. Yes. I mean, they have everything that's a newer park, so you're not going to see like a lot of big trees or no, anything like no, that. Yeah. But it's right on the bay, quiet little uh, beach that I think only they use. Right. Um, you can let your dogs run on the beach. But while we were there, we also went to Simpson Beach, which was another private, beautiful, I can't believe. Yeah, like, yeah this can't... place, what was the name of the state park? It was uh, Shore Acres State Park. Shore Acres State Park. So yeah. we, at first we said, well, let's go see what the city has to offer. Coos Bay, not yeah, so fantastic I in our opinion. I wasn't very impressed with the city. Charleston. But Charleston's super nice. So yeah. I said, well, let's go check out this state beach or state park. I had no idea what to expect. Um, and we went to go look at a botanical garden, but there was actually more than just a botanical mm -hmm. garden. There was a beautiful, uh, like, overlook. An awesome some tree, cliffs. like the yeah, roots. Yeah, this old tree that we took some photos in. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we did the botanical garden, and I said, hey, before we go, let's just, there was a sign like Simpson Beach. I don't even know yeah. what it is. Let's just go look. Yeah. We walked down there, and it's this amazing cove, and there's nobody on this beach. It was, uh, I it, mean, Yeah, us and a couple at one point, and then just us for yeah. a little while. It and was And a place crazy. like this in Southern California would be like just flooded with people oh, yeah. and so to have some of these beaches where you're up here even like uh secret beach like at one point like it was just us like yeah. kind of sitting there and it's there's just, no way in california no, it's unbelievable. There's nothing, no so. way so then we drove up the coast a little bit further into the lincoln beach area i have some amazing clients who live in lincoln city oregon whom i absolutely adore and i usually only see them when they're down in la and there's a kite festival going on so Levi, of course, absolutely loved that. We ended up buying him a little Buzz Lightyear kite and we were flying kites on the beach and it was really nice. We just had, had a good time. And then today we went to the historic Newport Harbor uh, and walked around. It's like a real sea worthy town. I mean, it's like a, it's a working harbor, it's you a know, working fishing, harbor. crabbing, uh, yeah. all that sort of stuff, which yeah. I'm super into. Yeah. Uh, so it was a very cool place. To yeah, work we got to do that. So then we're here doing this. After we're finished with this, we're going to go meet back up with my clients uh, for the afternoon and uh, make our way back here. So that's the first real like 10 and a half days of our trip so far. So I think um, this next week, our plans are to head up to Washington tomorrow. For a couple nights. Yep. And then cruise into Idaho. That's about it. Yeah, That's I mean, we, we and we like we said, we don't have reservations no. right now, and we're toying with a couple different options. But that's it. We do have reservations for Fourth of 4th July. Fourth of July, yes. So we can kind of be very flexible between now and then. Yeah. And we're just gonna play it kind of day by day and figure it out, and it's yeah. part of the fun and excitement of this whole thing. Yeah. And uh, so, anyways, we just wanted to share a recap of what we've done so far. Yes. Uh, next week's video, the recap will be much quicker. Yes. Uh, but next week we'll kind of share a little bit about what we've learned yeah. and yeah. what uh, some of the pain points have been yeah. and how we're addressing them. And so that's what we'll kind of go over next week's video. And maybe we'll, if there's time, we'll kind of show you the what, what our living space is like, what, what the trailer's like. 
Yeah. Um, if there's time. Interview the kids, maybe, too. I don't know if there's going to be time. <laughs> there might be. Is there going to be enough time? I think that there will be enough time. So, yeah. anyways, thanks for checking out this video. And we'll see you next week. And if you're not already, you could follow us on Instagram at Traveling Tribe of Five, the number five, not F I V E, the number five. And so you can kind of like follow along with us there. And yeah. Thumbs up. From us to you. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.